Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, In the Wrong Place at the Wrong Time. And our scripture is Exodus chapter 16. There, too, the whole community of Israel complained about Moses and Aaron. If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they moaned. There we sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. But now you have brought us into this wilderness to starve us all to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I am going to rain down food from heaven for you. Each day the people can go out and pick up as much food as they need for that day. I will test them in this to see whether or not they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day they will gather food, and when they prepare it they will be twice as much as usual. So Moses and Aaron said to all the people of Israel, By evening you will realize it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. In the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your complaints, which are against him, not us. What have we done that you should complain about us? Then Moses added, The Lord will give you meat to eat in the evening and bread to satisfy you in the morning, for he has heard all your complaints against him. What have we done? Yes, your complaints are against the Lord, not against us. Then Moses said to Aaron, Announce this to the entire community of Israel. Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your complaining. And as Aaron spoke to the whole community of Israel, they looked out toward the wilderness. There they could see the awesome glory of the Lord in the cloud. Then the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the Israelites' complaints. Now tell them, in the evening you will have meat to eat, and in the morning you will have all the bread you want. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening, vast numbers of quail flew in and covered the camp, and the next morning the area around the camp was wet with dew. When the dew evaporated, a flaky substance as fine as frost blanketed the ground. The Israelites were puzzled when they saw it. What is it? they asked each other. They had no idea what it was, and Moses told them, It is the food the Lord has given you to eat. The Israelite tribes complained bitterly that they were on a fool's errand. They complained God had gotten them out of Egyptian slavery only to die of hunger and thirst in the desert. After 400 years of bondage, they'd gotten pretty comfortable in Egypt. None of them had ever known freedom. They didn't have a clue how costly freedom was to obtain, nor how much self-sacrifice and work it would be to maintain it. As a nation, they were infants facing Goliath. Spiritually speaking, they were like naive children. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. I've known that twice in my life in ministry. In 1981, I was ordained as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The battle over women in ministry had reached a boiling point with a conservative takeover in the Southern Baptist Convention. It was a contentious time, and ten years later, the denomination split into Southern Baptist and Cooperative Baptist groups. In 2005, I was drawn into the serenity of the United Methodist Church as a pastor. Nearly two decades have been overshadowed by a fragmentation of leadership between far-left progressives and far-right conservatives. Of late, the parting of ways between the UMC and Global Methodists has been sometimes peaceful, even amicable, at other times World War III. In some ways, I sense I've been struck by lightning twice during my 40-plus years of simply trying to follow God's leadership in the midst of a tornado. The daily cares of pastoral work seem diminished and overshadowed by strife and hot tempers. My ministry career began in Florida where they say, it's hard to remember you're draining the swamp when you're up to your eyeballs and alligators.
It does not take a rocket scientist to compare the divisions between two large denominations with a sordid unbelief of Israel's wandering in the wilderness. Anyone with even a slight understanding of Scripture can picture the evil in failing to trust God. And the shorter leap is knowing if we can't trust Him, it's hopeless to think we have a shot at trusting each other. For you today, there's a sense of hope that abounds in even the wrongest of places at the worstest of times. Jesus did not come to bring anger, confusion, and death. He is life. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.